heading off to Irma's. So, I don't know if you can see. Um, we'll see what's there. I'm taking you along. Hopefully, there's some good stuff. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am here to do a double Hermes unboxing, my first Hermes purchase for the year 2023, and they are both on my wish list. I don't know if you can guess if you've been here before. Um, you'll know that I, I do have a wish list, a wish list that kind of keeps me on track, eyes on the prize, um, and I'm finally able to check two of them off. So if you're interested, continue to watch. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I do have other Hermes unboxing videos and um, I also created ones of my Hermes journeys. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to list those below in the description box as well. As you can see, I do have two items here that kind of cut off, <laughs> but they are things that I was looking for. So I am very excited that they had both of these. Actually, I went in for one of them and then I got surprised with the other. One of them I actually had on my wish list since last year, but they never had stock, which was crazy. And even till like about two weeks ago when I got these items, they didn't even display it. They only had one pair and it was in my size in the back. So kind of spoiled that, but let's get started. So I'm gonna get started with this top one. Um, this one was actually a gift from my husband. It's very nice of him, very kind of him. He's not great at gift gifting, so um, in the past I have told him exactly what I want and then basically he doesn't get me anything for the whole year and just gets one thing that I really want. So it actually works out for me because then it makes it very memorable and special. And then there's not that like stress of having to get something at every occasion. But yeah, anyway, so this is it. This has been on my wish list, and I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a small square box. So if you know what it is, leave it in the comments below. So here we go. This is the first one that I have from Hermes. So I'm excited. Any final guesses? And it is a watch. So the box actually comes with this cushioned top and inside is this velvety kind of held into this box. So you can take it out by opening this front tab right here. And then you can also see that it says Hermes right there. And it is encased. So the velvety material is encased in this um, kind of wooden square right here. And then there's also more sort of velvet material. If I take this out, you can see this is what it looks like. So it's kind of on an angle, so it, 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 it displays it to you. So it is really well designed. I tried this on in stores. I'll insert some shots of me wearing it. Um, but this one is the Cape Cod. It is in the smaller of the two sizes, and it has the special design right here. It's hard to see because I still have this clear wrapping on it. Um, it was like that in stores as well to protect it. But if you look closely, there are the pink sapphires right there all along the hours the, where the numbers would be. And then there are also some right here and it consists of both pink sapphires and diamonds. So um, it is very pretty and it also came in the Rose Sakura strap. So this is a swift leather strap and Oh, just so you, if you want, are you interested, this is what it looks like underneath. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down. So like I said, this is the Rose Sakura in the Swift leather and on the back is a more tan brown color. And you can see the Hermes stamp right there on the back of the watch. And yeah, it's something that you can interchange. Uh, so you can see that the leather, it's held in right here. So I could change the strap. Um, 
leather straps are not gonna last forever, so I can easily switch this out for another strap. I do know that they have the double tour, this is a single tour, but they also have the double tour which wraps around twice. I prefer the single, but yeah, I love this. And another thing that I really like about it is that this watch face is kind of curved, so it sits on your wrist really well. So it will look like that when I wear it. I love the combination. I keep going back to this one. And yeah, this is so this is my first Hermes watch. I do have another Hermes bracelet uh, that is in the leather material and it's lasted me quite well. I kind of got that one first to kind of test out the leather on my wrist and it it's in the Nata, also in Swift, so it's it's done really well. So I'm, I'm confident that this will be fine as well. But yeah, I can always interchange it with a different color, um, with a different material even, if I want it to. So yeah, possibilities are endless. But the watch face will always have these kind of cherry blossom sapphires uh, in the pink and silver. I remember laying my eyes on this watch probably a year ago and I've been kind of trying it on every time I go into the store. There was also a time where it was not available in the store and so I couldn't try it on or it was available but it was in the double tour and I didn't like that. I finally was able to see it in person uh, last I think November, December time and I'm glad my store still had one in stock so yeah finally got to add this to my collection and I'm really thankful for my husband for getting it for me. Moving on to the next item, this is one that has been on my wish list since last year. Couldn't get it all year. I wasn't actually expecting it to be in store, but while I was getting the watch, I did see it. So I'm very happy and excited. Let's get into it. So this is the one that I was saying that they did not even display it. I had to ask and when my essay looked, there was only one in stock. It was in the color that I wanted and it was in my size. So it was like, okay, I kind of have to get it. It's a pair of shoes if you haven't already guessed. And let me just take this out of the box. Comes in two separate dust bags. I love these drawstring dust bags. They keep my shoes really pristine when traveling and doesn't get anything else dirty. So to reveal the Colette loafers in the natural color. So bringing it up close, you can see that it is in the gold hardware and it is in the natural color. So this is in the goat skin leather. It's leather on the outside and on the inside. And on the bottom, there is a non-slip kind of area right here. I love this little detail with the age lock look. Um, there is some leather piece right here and then another uh, rubber piece right on the bottom with the H again. So I got it in my usual size 36, although sometimes I am a 36 and a half. I have only sandals from Hermes, which is surprising, but I use it so much and I've definitely got my money's worth. The three pairs of shoes that I have from Hermes are the Iran sandals, the Baya sandals, which are the wrap around the ankle ones, and then I also have the Aloha, which is the rubber one. I've used those so much and um, um, I wanted to add a pair of shoe shoes, not sandals, to my collection. They actually have a lot of shoes in stores. The Paris and the Destine loafers are very popular and come in many different sizes, colors, materials, but they did not have this one. And I love the more subtle H look right here. This is actually the metal design on the Ruli, and I like that it's more subtle than the like big H's that are on the Paris loafers. Um, but yeah, these ones were out of stock for so long and they do come in black. I think there was like a rose pink color. And I do see a couple of goat suede material in green and I believe navy. So if you're interested, I'll try to link to these. And yeah, I love them. And I was really anxious. I was like, oh, there's only one pair. Is it, is it the correct size? Um, and I walked around in stores and they feel great. So I'm going to try to, you know, uh, use this as much as I can, like my sandals, but we'll see if I do. <laughs> These actually don't look as much like the sandals that I have also in natural. Um, I don't know if it's because it's a different leather material, but yeah, this one's very smooth. It definitely has more of a rigid shape to it than some of the other leathers that I have from Hermes. So I think that is intentional because it is meant to be a pair of shoes. I do wear flats a lot. So I'm hoping that I get a lot of wear out of this pair of loafers. 
One more thing, in case you were interested, when you buy a watch from Hermes, you do get this international guarantee booklet and it is stamped in the back so that if there are any issues, you can always bring it back, uh, you know, with the model and everything. So just, I didn't realize that. Again, this is my first watch purchase. Um, so yeah, let me know if you ever got one of these with fine jewelry as well, um, because yeah, that'd be interesting to know. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, definitely subscribe for future unboxings, reviews, and comparisons. If you have suggestions on videos and topics you would like to see, leave it in the comments below as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.